Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Thursday, June 20th. My name is Angela. And my name is Chris. And as most of you know, The Faux Show is not a real show. It is a social experience because I don't look at you. I look at the chat room, which I have here on my iPad. Oh, the chat room? I've got the chat room full screen on my screen. It's over there on a monitor where we can see ourselves. (laughs) It's on this monitor here, but... It is in the best lower third on the internet. That's right. The JBLive.tv chat room has joined us on this Thursday night, and we've contained them right here. And you know what? Lower third is the technical term. It's the technical term. Is it? Yeah. We're petting Go to Wikipedia. Third. Go to Wikipedia. The very, the very first sentence is, but it doesn't measure exactly a third of the screen. It's typically less. I'm rubbing my, I'm rubbing my lower third. What? Guess what's here? What? Oh, really? Yeah. Did they just, just, just got here. Yeah. Uh, should I go get it? Um, well, they rang the video doorbell. All right. Not the. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start uh, by telling you that. Okay. Go ahead. All right, here I go. That I ran Android for a week. I don't have that close up cam anymore, which is too bad because apparently you guys really didn't like the close up of all the bloatware that I used. But let me just address, first of all, or address, first of all. A lot of people commented. Um, oh God, the bloat, it's horrible. Why didn't Chris do blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what Chris did? He handed me an Android phone and said, try to figure it out. Because if I wasn't married to, you know, like the geekiest guy, you know, on, on the place of the uh, place, on the face of the earth, um, I would have to figure it out myself anyway. So it gave me the option to do easy mode or advanced mode. And I didn't feel advanced because I didn't know anything about it. So I went with easy mode, but he has since, as you can see here, He's removed all those bloat icons and what have yous. Yeah, that was kind of a so, controversy, wasn't it? It really was. Yeah. So um, yeah, anyway, did you mention the root stuff or, and the stock? Not stuff? yet. No. Well, that's. I mean, that's in you your section. But all right. Go ahead. Well, one of the things. So while we're addressing comments from yeah. from your feedback, yeah. mm-hmm. one of the comments we got a lot is that you <laughs> should be using either stock Android or maybe even a Nexus device to get the pure Google experience. But that wasn't really our goal. Our goal was to give Angela very common Android device and sort of experience that. Just like when, just like when, when she took the Ubuntu challenge or the Linux challenge or whatever it was, I, you know, we could have had to run any distribution, but I wanted to run something that new users wouldn't, are very likely to encounter. Wouldn't really common be more like an HTC One? <laughs> no, <kidding. laughs> no, this is my special baby. Because this is huge. Well, that, I, I, yeah, I thought that might be one of the things you like about it. <laughs> that would be a good sound board. <laughs> okay. So, um, well, so I have like a lot of my thoughts. Okay. Halfway through the week, because I've been doing Android for a week. Yeah. Halfway through the week, I realized a lot of my comments are about more about the phone's functionality than Android. Like, it's, it's hard for me to separate those because, like, with the iPhone, I don't have to. Does that make sense? Yeah. With the iPhone, it's just like, okay, it's all, you know, like, one one company. This is two. This is, I'll give you an well, example. This is three different services. This is Samsung, this is Android, and this is Ting, yep. and it's Sprint, right? So well, four. Ting is an MBNO of Sprint. Oh, I uh, see. Okay. Yeah. But well, Ting is your carrier. Yeah. Uh, so. And, you know, it's interesting. Like, I noticed probably that was one of the things I picked up the most about your experience with Android mm-hmm. was you'd ask me questions, and I would realize, oh, well, that's done by doing X on, on Angela's phone, but Y on my phone. Like, a perfect example is multitasking. For me to multitask, uh, I, you know, I, 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 think, I, I don't rem- even remember what the interface is on yours for multitasking. Oh, it's horrible. But we have completely different UIs to our multitasking. I have a little tab here. Well, that's pretty common. <laughs> and, and it, you know, to start multi-window, drag an application oh, from the tray. That's a Samsung thing. So there's an example. So one of the yeah. main things that Angela had a gripe with uh, with the Android UI is on Samsung because this Note 2 screen is so big, they include this little uh, thummy thing that lets you run multiple applications on the screen at once, multi-windowed. Sounds like a good idea, except for it's crap. Until you go to type something and it's covering up the one or the Q, which, okay, I don't use Q very often, but I use one. And every time I'd hit one, I would drag over the multitask uh, Now you can bar. turn it off. Yeah, I couldn't figure out how. I was I was surprised though, just of that kind of stuff. I think mm-hmm. out of the box, um, I I had lost perspective. It had been so long since I got that Note Two, so long, but it had been long enough that I forgot like how much stuff I had changed. Mm-hmm. Not the case on the HTC One. It is much more of uh, there's less stuff to sort of pare down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
So one thing that I do like, and I actually haven't even, be, well, because I've been Android, um, I haven't even looked into if there's an app for Hangouts for iPhone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, we haven't been using Hangouts since well, I did the Switch. Or, I mean, we, so we started using it because of We've been using of Hangouts switch. as sort of just like a text messaging system, really. Yeah. Like, we don't really of, use well, it for... Well, I use iMessage, though. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, you know, I, but, uh, but we've been my, using Hangouts. And yeah. what do you think of it? Well, so... Like, it lets you take pictures, send them back and forth, lets you do video. If, One nice thing is it lets you chat on the desktop or the phone. Yeah. Well... <laughs> you don't like it? If I select a picture, and I don't know if this is... I don't, see, I don't know if it's Android or... Ooh, no, I was having the same problem. Where the, where the picture stays there? Yeah, the picture just doesn't go away. Yeah, like, okay, yeah. no, I didn't want that picture, but there's no delete. It there's stays no, in the yeah. compose field. Yeah, so yeah. I, I have to send it and be like, that's not the picture I'm sending. You have to send it in order to get rid of it, though. Yeah. It, it's even if you so close stupid. it and go back in. So is that Android or is that the phone? That's the Hangouts app. That's Okay, so Hangouts app, you suck. <laughs> it's new. Right? That's a bug, yeah. Um, but otherwise, it, um, it worked pretty well. Yeah, I, I mean, think. it seems fast, and... Uh, I wish it had read notifications so you could see when the other person read yeah. it. Yeah. That's kind of that, nice. I iMessage do, can yeah. do that. Yeah. Um, the other thing that's kind of, I mean, take this for what it is, but iMessage is probably a little more private than Hangouts because mm -hmm. everything's logged. Right. But the one thing that's really cool about the Hangouts app on the Android is you could be just sitting away, sending pictures back and forth and all that kind of stuff. And then when you log into Gmail, the Hangouts daily bot pops up and your whole picture thread and everything is there in your Gmail chat. And then um, if you're... Yeah. Yeah, which is nice, because you can just okay. resume the chat conversation from within Gmail. You don't have to sit here and type on the phone. Well, let me just tell you, though. So, despite going Android, you know, I'm still sitting at a Mac during the day, okay? A and I have have Android have Macs. Yeah. Well, no, I'm just saying. So, but I mean, I'm prefacing this. Yeah. So, I have messages up on my computer, and the Google Talk messages are not there. Some of them are. There's something really flawed about it. What is, like, it's trying to detect presence and detect what chat program you're at and only send them to that chat program. Oh. That's because okay, so of if the I way... Have, if I have G Plus open in my Firefox, right. that... It's it, always up to sync. Well, yeah. So, okay, so, but here's the annoying thing for those of you that may not know. Um, G Talk Pictures, if he sends me from his Hangouts app to my messages program on my Mac, it shows up as a G Plus link. Right. So, okay, let me translate a little bit. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> messages on the Mac is connecting as an XMPP client to Google Chat. <laughs> Things that are connected as XMPP clients to Google Chat, when you send them a Hangout message, and sort of instead of getting the picture in line like you do in the Hangouts app, which would be awesome, you get a link to a Google Plus album that Google just creates on the fly and for so, that one picture. Yeah, and s well, no, it's our Hangout album. Oh, it is. It is. Oh, however, well, that's kind of clever. First, it loads the whole album into Firefox and then it or your default browser and then it takes a second to 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 then open mm. that one picture. See, I never so saw that cuz really my computers clunky. my computers are fast. <laughs> I need a new computer. You guys heard it all here. I need a new computer. It's clunky. It and I don't like it. But and, here's what and so here I am. He's sending me, you know, three three or four links in a row at a family thing and I'm not sure if I've clicked on all of them or not. See, and now all you needed to do was wait ten minutes until they're all there in no, the album. No, actually, <laughs> no. It's even better than that. So check this out. If you go over in the Google Chrome now or Gmail, if you don't have G, if you don't use the Google Chrome, I have Chrome. I use Chrome for um, Netflix Watch instantly. Oh yeah. Yeah, because Firefox can't handle it, and Safari. Um, I'm logged in as my well, account. All right. So check this out. So over in the Google Chrome, uh, they have uh, a Hangouts extension, and if you get this, it adds a little um, Hangouts. This thing right here, the, it's the one with the green icon. Uh -huh. When you add this to Chrome, it, it puts a little persistent chat program into, into uh, it, so you get, this, you get this portable little window. Eh. Well, it's not that bad. So now, so this and is... And it would be inline photos. Yes. It's, 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 mm. the, it's the exact same thing you get on the phone. And then this runs, the only, the only caveat is Chrome has to be open. But Chrome doesn't have to be, be on any specific page. Uh, the other thing is if you're on Google+, Plus, you get all the inline chat. Right. Um, All right, well, some mail haulers coming at me with new computer is a good time to go Linux, Angela. <laughs> Can you say System76? <laughs> mm, wouldn't that be awesome? Except yeah. for your problem is you're, uh, you're hooked on iTunes and iPhoto. Yeah. Like in a big way. Yeah. Like more hooked than probably anybody else I know. I'm about to hit 50,000 photos. 
Um, you know, and it's now so that many I'm, gigabytes. It's now that I'm a stay at home mom again, um, you know, it's anywhere between forty and eighty pictures a day. Don't yay, yay for a big Fisher family update Actually, after the show. Actually, you, you, you started on Linux. Remember you used to run KDE? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So the Hangouts thing. And, and I tried Mint. I, but mint. I, I no, don't. Ubuntu. Yeah, no, you did. Yeah. No, I tried Ubuntu. I, I did Mint on oh, this yeah. computer for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah Hated yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I don't want to discredit what you're saying, though, because I think iMessage is still a better system. Because uh -huh. uh, you get drag and drop chat support on the Mac. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's fully synced up with both your iPad and your phone, which is nice. The problem right. is it's Mac only. Whereas yeah. Hangouts works I on know. Linux, Windows, everything. Yeah, I just wish, like, I I wish that the Hangouts, I, it's more of, it's not an Android comment, I guess. But it's an implementation the way they've done yeah, it. Yeah, because I'd like to, like, I, I wanted to find that link from you the other day, and I could not find it. And it must have gone to my G Plus tab that I had open in Firefox instead of the hang instead of, like, the chat program that has a searchable field, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I, I really wish Apple would open up iMessage so that way you could just use it on Android because your other problem that you have is you have a bunch of friends on iMessage. Yeah, I do. And I all do. you guys are just clucking back and forth Oh, for and free. I love clicking and dragging. That Oh, that's the other thing. I can't click and drag. So on her desktop with iMessage, she can take a picture that maybe in her iPhoto library on her desktop and she can just drag it into the chat client and send it to somebody's phone. Yeah. Which is nice. It's it very is. user friendly. Yeah, because then, but then I don't have to figure out on my phone how you know go save the image to my camera roll. But, then, but check it. Oh, of course I can't. So in 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 uh, Hangouts chat, mm -hmm. it's I can't do it because I'm not signed in. Why 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 not? Why can't they sign in? Oh jeez. Oh, because I'm a Google because I'm a Google Business account. In Hangouts, the app uh, yeah. for the desktop, yeah. there's a little camera button, and if you click it, then you can click and drag into a window. Oh, okay. And then it well, just puts cool. it in the message. Okay. So it's almost click and draggable on the desktop, too. Sure. So I think Hangout, that Hangouts app would have improved that experience sure. for you a little bit. Okay. Um, the other thing is I ended up turning off all the sound notifications because I was constantly getting them. You know, new email, sound. Um, Did you like that actually, at first? I didn't, well, no. Because like on iPhone, you don't get like that kind no, of stuff at all. No, I didn't. I didn't. Um, you know, when Facebook implemented the little... Yeah. When, when, when you get, <laughs> I, I, I walked by, I walked by yeah, Angela's yeah. desk and I'm like, Ding! I'm like yeah. what, what was that? And I was like, I, I don't know that everything is making noises right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously, um, it was it's too much. And I and I I did try to find the settings that were causing them, and I, I changed them to things that were somewhat bearable, but it was still just too much. So I've had it on um, silent. The other thing I thought was interesting is I asked you, what do you think about the notification LED? Because yeah. They're I, I admit blue. this is really geeky, but, but switching to Android, that notification LED has been one of my favorite things because I can look at the phone with the screen off and... Oh, then all you need is a BlackBerry. <laughs> well... They perfected the uh, well, I mean, notification. That is something I liked about my BlackBerry <laughs> that I had years ago. Yeah, I did too. Uh, and so, but you never mastered what the I different lights no. were. I didn't, no. Sometimes it was red, sometimes it was right. blue. I have no idea why. Well, what's cool, Just though... Just like I don't know what notifications went to what app. That is a big problem. I admit, because pro one of the problems with Android apps is like all the notifications are on by default, and yeah. then you have to go into each app to turn them off. Whereas in the iPhone, a lot of times, you just go into general settings, notifications, and turn them off there. Yeah. Yeah, that is nice. But here's what's really cool. is okay. Some of those programs, tell me if you like this or not, you could set specific LED light color notifications. So you could say my Gmails are always purple. Oh, that is cool. Right? I didn't know that. Right. So if you play with no, them a little bit. No, I figured bit, it was only, you know, blue, blue No, no. You could do multiple colors. Green yeah, or whatever. Now, I don't know if that's a Note 2 specific thing because mine so far have been blue, yellow, and red on the Note or mm -hmm. on the HTC One. Mm -hmm. But even that's nice because, like, I plug it in and, like, the light changes depending on if it's charging or not. So, like, a little charge light. Right. Same yeah. there. Yeah. So. Which the battery takes forever to charge. Yeah. You know, like, but it lasts a long time, so it, that's good, too. Yeah, but it is a good battery, right? You never yeah, you had is. to switch out of the second uh -uh. battery. Uh. Nope, I haven't had to switch out of the battery. Um, so, uh, you know, Chris has been pretty hands-off. Like I said at the beginning, you know, I went into easy mode by my choice because I wanted, or I felt more comfortable doing that first. Um, but then a couple of days in, he took off the bloat and whatever, and then I, that's I was like, I, I was like, this can stand no longer. <laughs> I have to change this. That's when I found the notifications pull down. And right. How do, how do you like that? I do like it. What um, about the controls along the it's top? A confusing bit, or nice? Um, confusing. Okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't use them, but I did use notifications. Now, it is the notifications are kind of confusing. There's a voicemail update yeah. every day or That's every Samsung like, thing. two hours or you know, like That's something That's a freaking crazy. Samsung thing. Look, but, look, look, look at mine. 
I got the same thing on my HTC One. It's a different thing. It's a different <laughs> yeah. app. Yeah. So the cool thing that I liked is that you can clear, except I don't see the clear. You can clear all at oh, once. Yeah. yeah, you can clear all the notifications. Oh. Yeah, well, of course, it closes it once you clear it, yeah. So there. So now there's nothing there. So the next time it does make a noise, <laughs> I can so, maybe figure out. So take a look. Hold that up. You see the settings along the top there? One of the things that's kind of nice is if you think about how your iPhone does it now, like turn on and off your Wi-Fi or something like that, that could right. be several clicks deep into the settings program. And you know, bear in mind, first you've got to find the settings program, launch it, go into the menus right. you want, whereas with the Android, you pull it down. Samsung yeah. has modified that, but it's very similar to what they're doing in stock yeah. now. It's right there. You can turn your Wi-Fi on and off, all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. It's nice. Yep. So one thing I wanted to ask you is how critical was Dropbox to this whole process? For you? Um, I hadn't set up Dropbox by last for, time, right? Well, uh, no, no. Not you, by the show. You, okay, only, so, you only did it a few so days ago. Here's what happened when I did that. <laughs> Um, so Dropbox was already on the phone. It was, you okay, know, pre-installed. Yeah, pre-installed, but I had to sign in. So I went to sign in and it said, your password isn't, uh, hasn't been changed in a while. So then I, I could have sworn That's I told That's an account thing they had, yeah. 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 You did, but you didn't have Dropbox set up on the phone for some reason. Huh. Yeah. But Okay, well, I got it set up and, um, I, oh yeah, no, I did. And I have my note too. Um, one thing that I've done since then uh, mm. Oh, it wouldn't be on here. What did I? Oh, I did the Dropbox camera Photo upload. Sync. That's what yeah, it was. Yeah, the camera yeah, yeah, upload yeah. folder. Yeah. That it was creates... a big thing for you because you were like, how am I going to get all my pictures off here? Yeah, because, yeah, I, I want all these pictures. Well, not all of them. Actually, the camera um, it's, really got a hold still. Yeah, it's not as good as the one on your and, iPhone. You know, I used to complain. Well, when he was using this phone, he would take like 100 pictures. <laughs> <laughs> And and I'd take like thirty really good ones, and he'd have a hundred, and maybe three of them were good. You know. Well, I'm sorry. It's, it's true. not your fault. No, it's true. I took really crappy pictures. <laughs> you know, yes! over last week. It's just how yes! it is. So um, I don't know if there's a way to change the way um, that the pictures are saved. They're saved with the date and like some really mm. long. I, I don't like that. You know, I'm used to image underscore the number, and it's a four. Yeah, but if number. you think about it. No, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> All right, that is the you know that's a camera thing. But, the camera's um, much better in the HTC One. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, I don't know if it's still as iPhone good, but it's I good. do have I do have the f camera set to instantly transfer the pictures into a Dropbox folder, which means I could access it from my iPhone or from my desktop, um, or well, or any web or any computer that has that I can log in Dropbox. And you know what's cool about that? I don't know if you've noticed this, but if on the Mac version, mm -hmm. uh, when you click the Dropbox menu. Uh -huh. It'll actually preview the last photo it's uploaded in oh, the menu. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. No, this is a new interface. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they just yeah, updated it. They updated it. that. Yeah, well, not just, just, but yeah. Well, I haven't looked at it in a while then. And you also got like 500 megabytes free storage. I, yeah, I can't remember how much it added, but yeah, it did add some storage, which is nice. But what I do is um, at the end of the day, I just take all the pictures that are in that folder and I drag them into iPhoto and, yeah. then, and then I delete them yeah. from that folder. Yeah. Um, it doesn't delete it from the phone, which is good. Yeah. They're still there. Right. Yeah. Um, absolutely. So what did you do about your music? Uh, so my music stands exactly how it was last time. Nothing satisfied you? A lot of people wanted no. you to use Google Music. You yeah, think you want to give that a try? I know. And, and I, there were a lot of tricks uh, that people, like, the, the thing is my iPhoto library is very daunting. It's, it's not as big as my photo library. You mean your I I, yeah. iTunes library? I'm sorry, yeah. iTunes. It's not as big as my iPhoto library. Right, because I know Matt sent you uh, mm -hmm. an app too. Yeah, I didn't. I did not get that one yet, but so I can. You tried it. You last time we talked, you tried an application that would play music from your Dropbox. Was that just too clunky? Did you, you just want everything on there? Is that what it is? And you want it all well, on the phone? I don't. Well, you don't want to stream it. I don't want to store my music in Dropbox. Right. So on Google Music, it's the biggest thing. on Google Music, you can pin some of the tracks to the phone. So like you can say these playlists stay I know. on the phone, and that's fine. I guess that's fine. But think about I it. I would rather. So my iPhone has like I thirty-two gigs. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's not the size doesn't matter. Oh, it's not the size. It's the. Well, then I don't know why I'm here. See you later. <laughs> it's a variety of <laughs> music. You know, I I always have like you know forty playlists. Yeah. On so my you phone, want, you want everything. But I didn't phone. want 40. I don't want. I, I'm really weird about my Dropbox space. So I don't want to pay for 
for more storage. Yeah, well, no, that's fine. I mean, I don't want to pay either. <laughs> cause but they did say that I can... Um, somebody suggested I actually do the SD card, save it directly to the SD card. What? Does this thing have an SD card? Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he said, and yes, your phone does. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's got a micro SD slot right there. Yeah. So you could put... Which I don't have. So, so. if you think about that... Yeah. You could, like... Which that could work. You could put it could the, be a dedicated music yeah. SD card. Yeah, yeah, and you could even put it in your Mac, yeah. sync it over, and then... And then I could use the same program that's accessing the Dropbox, right, to, to play music on it? Uh, I don't know. It depends if that program will read from the SD card, but theoretically. Oh, okay. Yeah, theoretically. Or just a built-in music program at that point, or anything. I still feel like you should just kind of... I, Try Google Music. I kind of feel like this is you being an old person a little <sighs> bit. I kind of feel like you're being old about this. Well... I'm not because I did carry around a ginormous Android for a week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just mean like you're getting all worried about putting it in the cloud and then downloading no, it. No, no, really no, 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 I'm not worried about putting about it in the cloud. Think about this. You could probably pin maybe your five favorite players. Pin is so prestigious sounding. Cash locally. In fact. Okay, you can cash locally. Okay. So you can cash locally maybe your top five or ten playlists. But uh, That's so limited. No, no. As long as you have a Wi-Fi connection or data connection, you just download the rest. Yeah. Well, so how like if, and it, you know what? It's cool. It'll start playing while it's downloading them. So, you know what? Honestly, I, don't know. I tried it too. I didn't love it. You, have you seen it? What? Have you seen what Google what? Music looks like? Okay. So one of the cool things about Google Music is if you pay for it, you get you <laughs> if get you pay for it. Well, you get it for thirty days for free. Uh, you you get. They they will up you can upload the music you have, they'll fill in gaps of the stuff you don't have, but the other thing they do is it's also got a little Pandora functionality, but it's a little different than Pandora. It's not music player, right? No, that's that's a different and one. And it's not play music? That is. Yeah, that is oh, it. Okay. That is it right there. Yeah, see so play music and then you go in there. Yeah, so you try it for, try it for free. There you go, she's gonna do it right now, ladies and gentlemen. She's gonna do it right now. And uh Yeah. Free thirty day trial and oh, seven ninety nine a month after that. Yeah. I know you don't want to do that. And my payment method has expired. So, yeah. You don't want to do so that. So, the other thing I was going to do, just to mess with you guys, and this <laughs> is great, let me go to the Google Play Store. I, you know, like, so here's an example, Angie. Here's a, here's, a, here's a track online. Look, it starts playing immediately. Wow. <laughs> you mean the technology is so advanced that the well, button will respond when you... I just don't think <laughs> you need... And do the function that is. I don't think you do. need to worry about it. Like, uh... <laughs> Okay, so uh, you see, I can add it. Well, I can add it. I can pin it here to my phone. So this little, see that little pin. Yeah. If I just pin that, okay. it downloads that tr track. Oh, so now that track's always locally on my phone. You yeah. See? So it's a one-time download. So I do still pay in bandwidth or Wi-Fi. Well, but for Wi-Fi, it's free. Yeah. Well, you just do it all. You sit, you sit at your desk. So I was gonna do this and say, "Hey guys, I tried. <laughs> I tried. Hold on. I tried Android. <laughs> I got this great thing called Eye Launcher. <laughs> Makes it look just like the iPhone. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I didn't want to set up a Google Wallet. <laughs> I didn't want to pay for the app because it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to look like my iPhone. Like so, Nico says, you know, you don't have to pay for Google Music if you don't want some of their fancier features. What? You don't have, you know what? No, I don't know what are fancier you know what? features. No, I, it, if, by, if by fancier you mean takes more work and knowledge of, of all the different apps that you need to use in order to do one function. Yeah, okay. So that, this was, that's just, this is a good observation that you made. So you were like, so wait a minute, I have to get one app to do this, one app to do this, one app to do this, whereas with the iPhone, I just plug in this cable and I click this button and all of this stuff is taken right. care of. Well, and you, you mean, because one sync syncs your photos, your apps, and your music. Yeah, it's not just that, but also, um, uh, like, some of the apps that I did try out, if I wanted to grab a photo, sometimes I could get it from Dropbox, sometimes I could get it from my camera, Some, you know, like, it's it's a lottery of whether it'll work with the other apps or not, and so, it just, it no there was nothing really consistent for me to know, you know, if I get this, you know, scrapbooking app, I can definitely pull the pictures from my Dropbox. I don't know that. Yeah, that's an interesting point. Because you probably would give to me that it is a, Android's a lot better about taking something that's in a program and sharing it with the other programs on your Android phone. Yeah. That's a lot better, right, than the iOS? Because like, when you do share, you can say, send to Dropbox, send to, you know, like, the, did you play with the share menu at yeah, all? Yeah, no, yeah, no, I did. Yes, I did, but... iOS has got nothing but like I, that. I don't, I don't, that. But has, what you're complaining about is yeah. getting it into the app. 
Yeah. Out of the app's not so bad, but getting right. okay, yes. it's hit and miss right. about getting yes. it into the app. Yes. Yeah. You're right. Because like a lot of times I want Dropbox support and yeah. they just don't have it. Yeah. But that's just the app developer. I know. I know. But um So here's yeah. what I got it. I got it. I got it figured out. This is what you need to do because this is what I do. Okay. Amazon. Oh, what about it? So Oh my god, I'll buy buying stuff all day. <laughs> <clears throat> Every song you buy on Amazon, they will st- oh. they will store for right. free in the Amazon Cloud Player. Right. You can then also upload your entire music mm-hmm. library to Amazon, and they give you like 25, it's something crazy. Yeah. Then you can download them all and, and play I can them. And also, I can import them into iTunes. Yes. So and they will all download. My computer. Anything that's in the Amazon locker will download to your phone. You can play them on the phone. It is essentially. It's, so it's an Amazon player. Yep. That accesses the cloud storage. Yep. That doesn't use Wi-Fi or does? When you first sync it up. Oh, okay. Okay. And so it is like... It's like... it's For lack of a better word, guys, it is like a little iTunes on my Android. Yeah. <laughs> well, and and you can uh, you can actually have it pull your iTunes playlist into a- Amazon Music. Yeah, see, want. that's that is one of the things that, that you don't scared want. me. I didn't want to move my entire library right. onto this phone. Well, you could also just do certain... Playlist. Yeah. Well, some of the things I looked at didn't. It said, um, you know, import all your songs. And uh, like, I, I'm sure that's a feature, uh, but it's, it scared me thinking that it would try to take, you know, bring all the songs over when I don't want all my entire library. I there. have an idea of what, what you probably did like, especially as a new user discovering apps. Okay. What did you think about how to load apps on Android? Like oh, the you just to the going pl- to Google Play. The Play yeah, Store. That was cool. Did you like be able to um, do it from the web? Yeah, I had this. It, I had my phone docked, yeah. and I could see that it was transferring. Um, That's nice. And right? then i I knew I knew pretty fast that I could click on the All Apps button there, um, and go to the oops this page and see all the apps that I've added, which is separate from the other two screens of preloaded apps. Right. So that is nice. Um, I did get Facebook up and running. Uh, after a day or two, and that that hasn't been too clunky, I don't think. You got G Plus going on there. Do you have Twitter set up on there? No. No. So the way this Amazon apps Amazon app works is, uh, you have you have your cloud music. So all of all of the music that I have in the Amazon cloud, and then I can, uh, and you have device music, all the music that's on your device, and anything that's in the cloud, I can take and add to the device. So let's see, like. Oh jeez! Here, Mr. Jankies. So I could take Mr. Jankies, and it and I could say store Mr. Jankies on my local phone. Mm-hmm. And then from that point forward, after I've done that, it's always available locally right here on right. my phone. Right. Right. And anything you buy an Amazon MP3 store is shows up immediately in the cloud tab. That's cool. So yeah. It's kind of like Kindle too. Yeah. 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 So you don't even have to worry about transferring. Mm-hmm. Like you don't have to sync right. because as soon as you buy it, and you can just stream right. it or you could download it. So like. Uh, if I go in here, so there's here's a uh, my least favorite Ronald Jenkins song, but you know <laughs> I know right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you get the idea, you get it. Um, okay, so let's see. We covered uh, Dropbox, uh, the battery life. We talked about um, one thing that happened today, and this is more device than Android, or maybe not actually, um, because of multitasking. I had like maybe seven apps going, and I was in a low coverage area. And it mm. and my battery started overheating. That's, well, I don't know if it was no, overheating. No, it wasn't overheating. But it was just getting really warm. CDMA in my purse. phones will get warm, especially if they're low on. So you, you probably had low signal. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll yeah. happen. It said three G instead of four G. Yeah, and and the, there was like no signal. So if you're in, in an bar. area, and this is just the rollout of four G, if you're in an area that's switching between four G and three G a lot, that can yeah. happen. Or uh, you, the best thing is to throw it on Wi Fi. Right, whenever you can. Yeah, you know, and Roundtable has free Wi-Fi. <laughs> they, they, it says it right Round on table the... Roundtable Pizza Wi-Fi. Right on the door, but I couldn't connect to it, so... Uh, I want to ask you about one of my favorite Android things. Okay. Widgets. Oh, yes. Oh, look at you. <laughs> um, so, I didn't experiment a lot with widgets, but um You got after, that weather clock one there. Yeah, after you took off the bloat, um, this Google search bar showed up, which is nice, and this... Uh, Weather app. Weather there. app, yeah. which changes when I go into different cities. And that is really... You liking the widgets? I, I like the background. I, I like the... I'm a scrapbooker, and I'm a creative person. So <laughs> having a little picture there with all the... Ooh, all the oh, ooh. What do you got? What do you got? What is it? Oh, that's not looking <laughs> good. So you have... A, so <laughs> All the information like, that... I, yeah. Like, there's even... like So here is what I've done is... So on my widgets, I have, I have a social media page. So I've got my Twitter and G Plus feed, right? And then... Uh, 
Uh-huh. On the other screen, I've got it's a it's a whole it's a dedicated Bitcoin. So all of these are Bitcoin related <laughs> widgets, right? Uh-huh. So I have uh, based on the desktop, it's sort of like this is about these things, and I assign yeah. widgets related to those to I those c- screens. Yeah, I could see myself using more of those. That's for sure. And like. I love like right there. I can see uh, there's a there's a Twitter reply, and I can reply to that person just mm-hmm. like right there. There's an at reply, and if I just hit that, if I nice. just, there it go there's the, it launches the reply right there. Right, sweet. Yeah, that's I really like that over iOS. Um. Okay. So here's something that I'm not sure if it's uh if it's the, if it's Android or what? phone. Wait. Or, Which web browser did you go with? Firefox. Okay, so you're in Firefox right now. Yep. So I'm in Firefox, and I have. Um, let me see if this is refreshed. And I was impressed because you did the Firefox sync. So you synced, yeah. you used Firefox sync to bring all of your desktop bookmarks over to Android. Right, which I didn't use. But that was nice, right? That works pretty well. Well, I don't know because I haven't used them. And you f- I don't know where to find them. Well, it does work well. And you've forsaken Chrome, which is kind of my favorite mobile oh. one right now. Although I have, I have Firefox too. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here I go to bookmarks. So I want to propose something to you that I don't think you've even bookmarks considered. Bookmarks toolbar. There they all are. That's awesome. So yeah. Oh, what, go ahead. I like the back button. Back button's nice. Yeah. Um, have you considered the fact that you were able to change your default browser to Firefox? Well, I didn't change my default browser. Well, when you click on a link, it launches Firefox, right? Yeah, but it did it automatically, I guess. Well, yeah, because you install. But I'm just saying, like, you could <laughs> never do that on the iPhone. It's always oh, Safari. Yeah. Oh, you can yeah. install other browsers. The Safari works fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I mean, okay. I haven't needed all right, to. but <laughs> Safari doesn't sync with Firefox okay. sync, right? Okay. All that kind of stuff. Well, so here's what I like. So I, I am on Plurk, and it's a social network that started five years ago. Five. Wow. 2008. Five. Wow. It's been five years. I hit my Plurk anniversary on June 5th. Is that really what they call it? It's what we call it, and we're Plurkies. Yes. Um. Anyway. Uh. It's just I have like 50 people from around the world on there, and anyway. I liked the, um, it has an actual, like, upload photo browse thing, whereas on my iPhone, it, it does not. Oh, really? Yeah. You get extra functions in the web oh, no, app? No, no, not extra functions. Just a, um, a bigger interface oh. for it. Well, dude, that's because you have a fr- huge freaking screen. You think it would change based on your screen? I don't know. I could try it. Probably. Probably because you can fit more, right? I don't know. But anyway, well, the <clears> point is, okay. So if I click there... If I click on the, like, if I want to make a status update, it shows every status update that I've posted. Is that good or bad? I don't like it. I don't like it suggesting. Oh, autofilling? Yeah. That's a fire. It's not even autofilling. I didn't start typing anything. Well, but those are, yeah, that is weird. Like, it It saved your previous entries. And then, do you know what? I can't get it off of that. It's just going to, it's, even if I start typing. Oh, just, okay. Well, you can type something completely different, yeah. Yeah. I slept from 8.30 p.m. until 6.51 a.m. Woot. You know, it's I'm funny. never going to need to repost that. That is so weird. I think it's Firefox. I Also, sure. you never used the swipe draw functions. Like, you just were, like, never about no. that, right? No. But you did tell me how much you liked that keyboard because of um, the numbers along the top. Yeah, I do like the numbers being available at the top, which is not something that iPhone has. But I don't like how the symbols, um, they're completely different than iPhone. It's swipe, yeah. So if I do... Um, or Swift kick, not swipe. If I want to do a smiley face, how do I do it? I ha- I mean, the symbols oh. are in a different location, and there's no s- wow, there's sucks. no emoticon shortcut. Um, the other thing is, I know for a fact that you probably enjoyed this uh, suggestive title well, bar here. Look at mine. I actually have a smiley face button. That's look. in the Hangouts. Yeah, no, no. Oh. Look, I actually have a button that's a smiley face. Wow, you do. <laughs> Yeah, well, if I go A, B, C, and uh, symbol, there's no there's no smiley face. So Now, you could change that keyboard. Yeah. That's nice, right? Yeah. I do like the suggestions. You don't like the suggestions? I think the suggestions along the top um, while I'm typing is the greatest thing no, ever. No, because sometimes I'll be typing and it'll be so off. And but you don't have to touch it. But it suggests words that, don't, that aren't wor- real words. Hmm. Like, if I put a J in the middle of whatever word I'm saying, it will show suggestions with J and a couple other letters after it, which is not a word. And so that was really weird. And that is so weird. You haven't added those to your dictionary, right? No, yeah. no. And I would have suggested, or I would have, um, I would hit space, and then it would just leave it as what I had instead of just auto-correcting it. So I had a little issues with that. I wonder if some of these things I do think a stock Android would have been better. Okay. Um, but that wasn't the point of the test. Yeah, no. 
Um, let's see. So we did Hangouts. Oh, Gmail. Okay, so I've been. I was using the mail app. the default email app on Android. Is kind of weak. You liked Which it. You I, like. I like it. I like that it sorts by days. <laughs> and um, I like minimal coloring. You guys can see that it's minimal coloring. Oh, really? Seriously. Uh-oh. If we go, uh, check this out. <laughs> the Gmail app, the new Gmail update. The Gmail app, look at that color. Look, at, like, seriously. There's, it, everything's color coded. It's an email from Chris, so it has a big green square with a C. It's an email from Facebook, Here's so it has a big mine. green square with an F. I find it. I find it much more readable because I'm able to like glance a lot faster. They're trying to use uh, like email from AT and T with a big A. You know, like they're using the first letter of whoever sent it. Look at look what they've done here for this one, where it's your family. See so how? I know. They, yeah, they've tiled and, it. And then you know what I like is that. Just swiped oh, archive. Nice. So nice. Yeah. Well, I didn't use it much because I did not prefer it at all. I don't I don't like looking at it. It, sure do. it looks it, it it's you know what it is? It's the Twitter mind. I don't have a Twitter mind, you do. What are you talking about Twitter no, mind? It's I know, the organization. I know it's weird, but it 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 just is too much. It Yeah. It doesn't seem orderly to me at all. Just like Twitter doesn't seem orderly to me. It seems like so. I, one, one thing I'll give you is it seems like less stuff fits on the screen. A rainbow threw up on my phone. That's a good way. It is kind of like a well, or Skittles. Like <laughs> we some, should, somebody we threw up bang Skittles. Suggest that <laughs> somebody threw up Skittles all over your email, kind of a thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it does fit know. less. I'll give you that. But I like it for the way I have to process email. Like, I feel like it lets me go faster. Oh, okay. Joel said that he turned that off straight away. But apparently, it's a setting, and and that's fine. I don't know where the settings are though. <laughs> Different strokes. <laughs> Well, here's a settings button. Oops. What did I do? So are you going to stick with it for a little while? Um, I, I am going to keep trying out different things because uh, when, the one thing that I did really like about this experiment is that it forced me to look for new apps to uh, for me to do cool things with. Like, yeah. for example, um, scrapbooking. Oh. Digital scrapbooking. <laughs> That's uh, my dude. Yep. So I just I took that picture and it's a little blurry because again the camera is not the greatest and I was capturing a, a moving moment yeah. but um, he was really funny and I don't know I just went and got a scrapbooking app and tried this. I think if you were a big Google Plus user, the way the camera stuff works would be more appealing to you because if you think about it, mm-hmm. the way that upload works actually right from G Plus you can share it immediately into your G Plus stream. So for as yeah, much as I you share to, photos. That's one of the things that I need to figure out because today at the craft store. I bet Facebook has an auto upload feature. Today at the craft store. Oh, here's the other thing. On the iPhone, your your photos scroll this way. Are you serious? Oops. Is that really your. Is, on 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 this, it, they scroll this way. But anyway, um, so here's what I did. I took a bunch of fast shots. Yeah, trying to get a good one fast, out of all of them. No, 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 no. I took a bunch of fast shots of them sword fighting so I could make a GIF later. Oh, but you got to upload a, a G Plus for that. I know. I need to figure out how to do that. That's one thing that I should that I should do. The next I thing I should do. I think if you turn that G Plus upload on, I know you have like privacy concerns, and that's <sighs> completely valid. I do too. I don't want G Plus seeing all those booby shots. You don't take <laughs> booby shots. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, you don't no, ever don't. take anything, like, you'd be worried about anybody <laughs> seeing on your phone ever. Like, you never I have. I know. Well, well, yeah, because, I mean, no, because everybody, you know, I am always, like, handing my phone, like, look at my kid, but, huh? What, <laughs> what, what is, what, yeah, I know, right? But what's, but what's awesome. And then they start scrolling, and you're like, oh. <laughs> so, like, an up, a good one gets, a good one gets uploaded to G Plus automatically, and I then know. there's one button to publish it to your followers. Yeah. You like that. Yeah, but, well, yes, but my G Plus followers... They're not the crowd that want to see all these pictures of. Well, you know. that's up to you guys. Go follow plus Angela Fisher <laughs> on Google Plus. Um, yeah. So are you gonna stick with it for a little while? G plus dot to forward slash Angela Fisher. Um, yeah, I'm gonna at least another week for sure. You know, what's um, nice to is, try out. A, a I few mean, more things. Ting doesn't sponsor the photo show at all. But one of the cool mm-hmm. things that is great about the, the way Ting works is we were able to add your phone to our plan like minimal. Like we yeah. don't have to get like a whole another hundred minutes or. You right. know, it's not like a hundred dollars a month. It's like my plan went from twenty five dollars a month to thirty dollars a month, or something like that, or thirty two dollars. Yeah. It's really great. So that's been fun too, just as a chance. It's been fun to share apps back and forth. And now that your first week is over, mm-hmm. I'm going to get a little more hands on, and we're going to kind of customize stuff yeah. to make stuff a little better. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Do we have a mail sack we want to do? Before um. We get out of here? Yeah. All Let's, right. So, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me. Br- hey guys, could you come in here? We got we got a mail sack. Yeah. No, just come in here and 
Okay, you ready? All right, you ready? Okay, okay, go, go. Thanks, guys. See you later. Oops. Speaker's off. All right. Uh, all right. Yosef writes. Definitely Yosef. I like it. Uh, Even though it starts with a J, I like it. Just wanted to congratulate you on the new addition to the family and say thank you for the network. You should be expecting a package from Amazon for the faux shower as a token of my appreciation. I've been a viewer for a couple of years now, uh, though I'm uh, though I'm always too lazy to make a handle in the IRC and usually just pound on the keyboard, ending up as JB Viewer four three one one or something. <laughs> <laughs> Chris does a great job with the network, and it's great that Angela is so supportive of his unique job slash hobby. I agree with Keep that. Keep up the great work with Jupiter Broadcasting. Yeah, hobby anytime, became job. <laughs> no, anytime I can give myself kudos through somebody else's words. <laughs> Just She's going to read that email. <laughs> yeah, you're getting in the mail sack. <laughs> no, but seriously. <laughs> and also, thank you for the shower gift. That has been yeah. awesome. So, um, I think we have 12 packages in our entryway right now. Which is funny because we've had people come over and they're like, whoa, packages. Whoa, you guys got some packages. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, we have an awesome audience. And, yeah. And that is literally what we're able to say. That's extremely gratifying to say, yeah, the people who love our shows have sent us these. Yeah. It's yep. very cool. And I haven't been there since Monday. So I think there's more. Um, but anyway, so the faux shower is next week and I actually need more picture submissions because this isn't, this wasn't a buy us something thing. It was, we're doing a, a faux shower. Tell us what you think we should, what we need for the baby in a picture. Um, and if you want to get something, here's our registry. Uh, I think a couple of people have done both. But anyway. So, well, and we're going to open them on yes, the show. So we will if, open them live. So I guess if you do want to send us something, we'll have a link in the show notes to our baby shower, and it will be the last couple of days to get it in. Yeah, actually. Um, Soon. I think, I think a lot of things that I put on the registry are primable. So if you have a prime membership, you can get free two-day shipping, and it would be here by thir- or Wednesday. Oh, yeah. The photo show's on Thursday. Oi. Yeah. So probably should buy by Saturday if you're going to buy something or mail something. Because you can just mail a card, too. I mean, I guess they can still send, but it won't make it for the show. Yeah. Um, so I'll be posting that on the on the social networks and stuff so that you guys um, know. That has been the coolest thing. It really it like is. Like a box really shows cool. up at the door. Like, oh, it's another package. Yeah. So cool. And then Ange treks out because some people have they've been sent in different ways. So Ange will trek out to the uh, mailbox that we have and come back with a with a score of goodies. It's Yep. All right, we got another email before we get out of here? Uh, yep. Okay, so, um, oh, email Angela at jupiterbroadcasting.com, which apparently we left off uh, the show notes, and, uh, yeah. Email your picture. So, now, I have not received, this is what I have not received for the faux shower, okay, awards. A recommendation to buy condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Six-pack of beer. <laughs> My chocolate wine. <laughs> no, just kidding. You guys are super funny. So send us something that you think that we could use in managing our soon-to-be five-member family. Um, I was going to stand up, stand up and show my belly, but I am all business up top and not business downstairs. <laughs> you should do it. You should do it. <laughs> no. Come on. Well, here, I can just creatively, anyway, there's my big That's belly. good. That's good. That's right. good. Oh, I did show my. You showed a little bit I of the party. I showed my hearts. You showed a little bit of the party. <laughs> I'm wearing comfy pants, my pajama pants. Anyway. <laughs> it's late and she's prego. Yeah. So, um, anyway. And that, the baby shifted and now I need to pee. So that's great. <laughs> awesome. Um, okay, so the, the next one, uh, Matt writes, Hi, Chris. I'm a recent owner of a Roku box. Nice. You know what? We are too. And it's awesome. <laughs> of the Roku 3. The Roku 3 is awesome. Um, I would, in fact, we'll um, put the affiliate link in the chat room or in the in the show notes show below this, show below this okay. mail, uh, mail stack. And there's a JBTV app. Submission. Um, so I would love to watch Jupiter Broadcasting shows via my Roku. Is this possible now? If not, have you considered it? I it watch is. last text map and faux show pretty regularly. Um, so uh, I added it through the Roku website, but there is a JB. You added it to your Roku through the Roku website? Yeah. Huh, kind of like Google Play yeah. adds to the Android? You, you log in. And uh, you, you log in to the Roku site, and then there you, you there's a channel you can search for JBTV. Oh, okay. And um, good. I think that's what it's called. Search for Jupiter Broadcasting. Crap, I should know this because I just got it set I up know, on our right? Roku just a few days ago. Right. Uh, I will. You know what? Maybe if you Roku Roku JBTV, Google search that. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe somebody in the chat room knows because I'm I'm a bit of a bit of a dunce. 
But I'll tell you what, it is actually pretty neat. So it'll give you uh, all of our shows. You can watch the live stream. A little bit of a warning. You're probably going to need a Roku on an Ethernet connection and a decent, steady Internet connection for the live stream to work to your Roku because the Roku doesn't have a lot of memory. It doesn't buffer a lot. And so you have to have a pretty consistent connection in order for the live stream to work. But if you do, you can watch our live stream on the Roku or you can just download any of the on-demand content. Okay. So um, on Show 128, which was the most hilarious episode we've done in a while. Really? Yeah, we laughed for the first 10 minutes. Remember at the end, we had to record a thing saying, don't stop watching. I promise that it gets better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, if you scroll down, it was our Jupiter websites uh, thing. And there is a Roku um, link in here for JBTV. And when you click on it, you have to go, you have to sign in. But it should then bring up uh, our app. What? I'm reading the chat room. Chat room remembers that episode. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah, it a, was hilarious. A plug if you've got Xbox, XBMC, Xbox Media Center, there is a Jupiter Broadcasting app in there, and you can Star. do all the same stuff. It's really cool. So you can download all our shows in your XBMC setup. You can watch our live stream. It's awesome. Yep. And you'll probably get better live stream performance if you have XBMC on a PC because then you've got uh, the advantage of the resources that a PC has available. Mail Holler has a fine point. However, was that? He said, you're worried about pajamas after the whole invisible underwear? The underwear was invisible. And it wasn't in the actual show. It was only right? on the live stream. Which yeah, well, reminds true. us, the faux what? show is live mm-hmm. on Thursdays at 6 p.m. Pacific over jblive.tv mm-hmm. for video and jblive.info for audio. Of course, the faux show is always available for on demand over jupiterbroadcasting.com. And in every single episode, we've got links to the RSS feeds so you can subscribe and then you just get the show automatically every single week. Mm-hmm. All right. I did a lot of plugging there. Yeah, that was that was <laughs> really good. I think we can officially end the show now. Nice. So, all right. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next week for a very big, probably extended, longer faux shower. Yeah, faux shower. Yeah. I love that I can just add the ER. Anyway, we'll see you next week. Don't forget, you can catch recent episodes of The Faux Show on jupiterbroadcasting.com slash faux show. Also, get them on demand in the iTunes store. Search for faux show.